hi guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video if you're returning thank you so much for your support i'm so grateful to have you guys support my channel and my journey so thank you so much if you're new my name is Vanessa i make natural hair videos including lots of diy to help us grow long healthy natural hair so if this video kind of videos interest you be sure to click the subscribe button and become a member of the family in today's videos i'm going to show you how to make an amazing deep conditioning mark that you can use to, on your hair once a week to help promote healthy hair growth now I have been, been using this mask, mask for some time now and I've definitely noticed a massive improvement in how my hair feels it just feels moisturized for a very long time and certainly the ingredients that this mask contains are really really nutritious for our hair so we are going to need some aloe vera um, so if you haven't got the plant that's fine just get you know the gel from the store or the juice uh, but if you've got a plant just cut a small part of it depending on how much you want to make and we're going to cut it into smaller pieces leaving the skin okay we, we are going to use the skin this time because it also contains some amazing nutrients now aloe vera is really good for hair growth because it calms an itchy scalp it deep cleanses oily hair it strengthens and repair hair strands due to the vitamins that it contains like vitamin a and c and e and also promotes hair growth now the next ingredient we're going to use will be hibiscus now this hibiscus i'm using is from a previous diy um but you can use hibiscus powder or you know fresh leaves or anything you know like as long as it's hibiscus is fine um hibiscus is also great because it stops hair loss you know it makes your hair look healthy prevents premature growing thickens hair adds volume treats down drop, and also conditions your hair against freeze dryness and breakage and also prevents split ends which is actually really good now you want to put that all in a blender with a little bit of water and then blend it all together now once that's completely blended you need to strain the whole mixture because you're going to have some debris of the hibiscus and the aloe vera in the mixture which you want to get rid of because you don't want it to get stuck in your hair so i'm using uh, um, a baby wipe here but you can use a tea towel stocking cap or i don't know anything that you've got really to strain it so if you're using a baby wipe just like me it will take a little bit longer to get through the entire mixture because there's a lot and the surface area of the baby wipe is not really that much um so it's probably better that you just use a two towel or a stocking cap it just makes it so much easier i didn't have one so that's what i'm using basically what i have um so yeah Okay guys, so I was done straining it and this is basically how much pulp I had left from the mixture. So imagine if you did not strain it, what, you know, your hair would have ended up like. So that's why straining is very important. So you just want to get rid of that. Um, and then we are going to proceed to the next part of the video. Okay, so the next ingredient we're going to need will be some avocado. Now... I'm using a very small avocado here because I did buy a whole bunch of avocados that were unwiped 
and I was hoping that you know it would have gotten right by the time I was to do this video and I was very disappointed there was only one that was wiped so yeah but you can use a bigger avocado if you've got it or if you have smaller ones like me again use as many as you think will be necessary for your hair I would have probably used two avocados of this size but I didn't have enough so I just worked with what I had um so yeah you want to peel the avocado pop it in a blender and then add the um aloe vera and hibiscus mix to it uh, because that's what's going to help us blend the um, avocado so you want to blend it until it's nice and smooth and you don't have any kind of bits in, in it at all because you don't want anything stuck in your hair at the end now that's basically what it looks like once it's all blended um, nice and smooth and kind of you know a nice liquid consistency now avocado is really good because it's high in biotin and also you know adding it to your nutrient i mean sorry adding it to your diet can actually help your hair grow uh, more healthily and also studies actually did find that avocado oil contains potassium magnesium and this may seal the cuticles to help your hair look smoother shinier and prevent it from breaking now the other ingredient that we're going to need after this will be honey um so honey again is an amazing hair growth product um, because it retains moisture it also restores nutrient to your hair and scalp and basically it just prevents sort of inflammation uh, from the scalp which is actually really really good now the next one will be castor oil and you guys know castor oil is really good at you know promoting hair growth because it makes your roots stronger it prevents hair fall and also has the ability to trigger and stimulate hair growth from dormant follicles so all these ingredients are really really good at promoting hair growth now the next one will be uh, some essential oils so i'm using tea tree oil here and peppermint essential oil i don't know how many drops i put in because you know it just comes out really really small so i just put in as much as i could and then you want to mix the whole thing together and that's it pretty much you're ready to use it on your hair now this is a really really powerful deep conditioning mask that if you apply to your hair on a regular basis you should hopefully you should hopefully see some changes on how your hair feels and also retain um, some type of length so I do hope that you try this out and you do like it now I'm going to show you how I apply this to my hair um, I'm starting on wash hair here guys um, so I conditioned the hair as well when I washed it I think I washed it maybe like a week ago um, so I just thought I would just do this mask just so I can show you so my hair is, is clean pretty much so I'm just gonna undo my twist and then spray it with water and later on realized that I actually did not need the water guys because this mixture is already kind of um, it's kind of liquid you know it's not very thick so you don't really need extra water but if you feel you need it then definitely go ahead you'll see as the video progresses that i haven't i stopped using the water so once you you spread your hair with water if you're using it you can just go in with with the mixture and just make sure that every single strand of your hair is covered by the mixture okay and then massage that in nicely you can also put this on your scalp because our hair grows from our scalp upwards so if you are to provide your scalp with any kind of nutrients it will be basically you applying it directly to the scalp so yeah massage that in nicely once i'm done with doing that i'm not going to go ahead and just twist that part or that section of the hair that i've just worked on and then proceed on to the next pretty much and i'm just going to repeat that for the rest of my hair until it's completely done
I decided to use a towel over my shoulders guys just to prevent it from you know getting my clothes messy or anything but it actually wasn't bad at all because the towel kept falling off and I just decided to just you know do without it and I didn't actually end up dirty at all as I thought I was going to um so don't worry if you know you haven't got a towel or anything it's not going to be that messy um so yeah I just carried on without it pretty much Okay guys, so at this point I was completely done applying the mixture to my hair and I just decided to, you know, give my edges a little bit more extra TLC just because sometimes we tend to forget to moisturize our edges because it's the last thing that we think about but, you know, it's important that if you're doing anything to your hair like adding moisture, deep conditioning or anything like that then you also consider doing it on your edges. My edges have done so well, you know, for the past few months because I did use them you know through childbirth but it has definitely grown bones um basically from just me looking after it so always remember your edges so i just applied that to my edges guys and i was actually really really excited because everything was done and yeah it was, i was just ready to just put my plastic cap on or plastic bag for for me and allow heat you know to um penetrate the hair and then I left it for about two hours and then I was ready to wash it. You can actually leave this deep conditioning mask in your hair overnight if you want to. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to do that. So, but if you can, definitely do that. It will definitely nourish your hair and keep it healthy. So I was now ready to go ahead and wash it. Now at this point, my hair already felt really nice and soft to the touch, even though I hadn't rinsed the conditioner from it. Um, so yeah just go ahead and rinse it off guys and that's pretty much it you know that's pretty much it my hair felt really shiny um really soft you know and the moisture stayed in my hair for quite some time as well i mean quite a few days which is actually really good so this is a great dip conditioning mask i do hope that you try this guys and if you do and you like it don't forget to leave me a comment so this is it for me today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye